Hello everyone, uh, Joshua here at Ibrox going to take off that morning briefing banner because it's not the morning briefing, it is uh, the post-match briefing, post-match Q&A, so get your comments in below. Um, if you're watching the game and have any thoughts on it, Rangers 2, Dundee United 1, hardly an afternoon that was that inspiring, that exciting. I've just been in the press conference with the manager, so I'll read you some of his quotes as well. Uh, but as I say, if you do want to get any comments and any thoughts on the game, then fire them in the um, the, the chat function below. Uh, the first one from Alan, who says, support the team through good and bad, but 2-1 against Dundee United is not good enough, both the result and performance. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get it out of the way early, uh, Alan, and get on to the main topic, which is the performance. And Rangers needed a result today. They needed to get back to winning ways, having lost three games in a row. Um, they did, they scored, having not scored in three games as well, but I don't think they got the performance that they needed. It looked like it might be for the first 10 minutes. Um, I thought they, their intensity was there and their aggression. They started far quicker than they have tended to do so in the Scottish Premiership. But it became predictable, it became slightly monotonous in possession um, as the game wore on. Rangers had a number of shooting opportunities as well as chances, kind of moments where they got into the final third and you know, let's not pretend this is a really good Dundee United side. It's not. They've conceded the most goals in the Scottish Premiership, They've conceded the highest number of expected goals and, and created the fewest in the Scottish Premiership. They've struggled. They've already lost their manager. Um, but a more confident Dundee United side or, or opposition may well have been able to, to ramp up a little bit more pressure on Rangers at the end. Obviously, they, they scored what was a good goal from their point of view, but getting an overload at the back post, that'll disappoint Rangers. And they were just never really able to put Dundee United away. And it's getting to that point, I think, where um, the domestic style, the domestic framework, is now almost a year in. And, and too often, I think people are probably a bit frustrated at the lack of just attack and verve that's coming. Um, from these performances, the important thing is the result. But you've always got to look deeper uh, than the result. Look at the trends and look what's happening. Um, and certainly, as I say, I think today it was all about can you go and have a performance that kind of excites the fans. Um, one other takeaway from me is looking at the long-term vision. Obviously, we'll get into the team, um, but looking at the, the number of players that weren't involved today, Van Bronckhorst said that Matondo wasn't involved. It's nothing. No, there were some rumours. I think about an attitude thing. It was not. He said it was nothing to do with that. It was just he had to trim the squad from 23 to 20 going back to league business and, and Matondo you'd, you'd guess because he hasn't made that much of an impact so far wasn't chosen you also look at a player like Tillman who started well but um, hasn't really been favoured in the last number of matches and I think there's lots of questions to be answered there I thought both McCann and, and King did well Van Bronckhorst said that McCann got himself into good shooting positions maybe needs to work a little bit on that but I guess the counter argument to that would be that if he had a more offensive minded player in that position he may well have taken some uh, of the opportunities. Uh, I'll, I'll read you some of the comments from the manager in the press conference before we get into to your own comments. Um, Van Bronco said that obviously the three points is the most important thing. We started well in the second half, scored the second goal early. You could see after we conceded the first goal, what ifs in the players' minds. I think that's an interesting point and that's why I went on to ask him. I said, why was there that indecision when you were attacking? And, and you could see it, I think, throughout the, the game. Um, there was It was a bit ponderous at points and just overall not a brilliant performance he said mentally it's difficult when you have three defeats in a row it can impact you or affect you today at moments in the game it did when you see the decision making we had on the pitch it wasn't as it had to be that's the most difficult thing in moments of stress to keep focusing on your task and play in moments of the game you could see we didn't do that well in the end this game should have been decided already early last season we played many of these games eventually conceded a late goal and dropped points today i was happy we took the three points um so make of that what you will but Effectively, I think what the manager is saying there is that the decision making in, in parts of the game was impacted by the three defeats. But I think this is a trend that goes back to, to before that, um, where Rangers at home, as I say, they're a bit predictable in possession. I actually thought McCann at points in the first half helped Rangers to be a little bit less predictable, played through the lines on, on a few occasions. But all too often, I thought it was too comfortable for Dundee United. And, and uh, you know, Football is a result-based business, but it's also in the entertainment industry as well, isn't it? And I think people coming here today want to be excited and um, see a performance that allows them to to buy into the, the wider vision of the season. And um, I don't think, even though Rangers got the three points going to the to the international break, um, you know, it'll be very telling when they come back. They got Hearts away and then Liverpool away. That's two absolutely huge games. Um, and I think. You, you need to start showing more signs of how you can dominate domestically, um, as I say, to get that that buy-in um, and excitement. Right, let's get through some of these comments. Yeah, Ian says it was boring and predictable, and Alan says we struggled at times. 
um, KG John, uh, KG John, sorry, John, says really concer concerned with the way we are playing. Uh, Thomas echoing a, a similar sentiment. Uh, Jack, performance uh, not good enough, um, but far too slow and boring to watch. He thinks Rangers need an attack minded manager, Stuart, build up play to predict pedestrian and Kent needs drop to teach him a lesson for being too predictable. Interestingly enough, uh, Stuart Van Bronckhorst said, without being asked, just on on his own, uh, said that um, I'll just find a quote for you here. Ryan Kent is a player, when he was asked about where the goals are coming from, and obviously it's fantastic to have a player like Cholak scoring all these goals up top, but Rangers don't have the goals coming from midfield in the last number of games. He said Ryan Kent is a player um, who is dangerous but needs to improve his scoring. He knows that. Quite interesting that the manager would would say that, but I think he's saying what everyone everyone's thinking. Rangers, um, in a team like that that lines up today, I don't think you have a number of players that are real goal threats. Arfield, um, maybe, but again, you're you're speaking about a player who, um, for all his qualities, is not, in my opinion, a, a player that Rangers should be kind of relying on at his age. And um, Charlie McCann, I think, w w was good uh, today, and you know him and Leon King totally deserve their, their place, but I don't think he's a necessarily an attack-minded um, midfielder. And obviously, you've got Malik Tillman on the bench who's shown that early on, but then fallen out a little bit of form and, and, and wasn't um, in the team today. Uh, Stephen says that's all you can take from it. Three points. Alan saying, why oh. didn't Morelos come on? Um, we'll just get through some of these more comments. I think there's a lot of comment, a lot of sentiment shared by this comment. It's, it's a bit repetitive, and um, that's obviously problematic again because People want to be excited um, when they want uh, the players. Ross, with a slightly more positive view here, need to get behind the players. Too much criticism, if no improvement by the World Cup, ask questions. But great to see two young lads getting a start. It's a good point, Ross, because obviously Rangers and, and everyone, you know, you can't profess to be a club that champions a youth pathway and not give them minutes. I thought Leon King was good. He's actually got much better recovery pace, I think, when you watch Leon King than, than ever. Not, not that I remember, but it's certainly notable, noticeable at points. Um, pretty quick so I thought I thought he did well McCann as I say played through the lines with with uh, kind of decent regularity um he was quick and the speed of thought was something that the manager highlighted post-match um just when he got into those shooting positions I don't think it looks like his natural game and that's not a criticism of him I think you can see the qualities that he has and he was probably the best performing of the the central midfield trio for me today and um, but much like in midweek when you're lining up in the Champions League for the first time with a midfield of Jack Davis and, and Arfield I think at home, when you've got Jack and Lundstrom, um, you're getting players into, particularly in the case of Jack, maybe players into offensive positions who just aren't those natural number eights or number tens who are going to get you um, you know, 10 goals over the, the course of a season, right? Um, William's saying, what's happening with Morels? Why does he not get game time? I wonder if that's just down to the fact that he's just come back. Obviously, it was the same. Um, I'm trying to think when it was the same. In a recent game where Rangers were losing... Uh, Maybe it was an Ajax away from home. And then he started, it, obviously, the game in midweek against Napoli. So I don't know if that's one to read too much into. But again, if you want to get someone up to match fitness, it's you presume that they would come on kind of for the, the final um, wee while. Just get through a couple more um, of these. One more second. Yeah, and Bob as well. Another kind of sentiment that's widely shared. Two midfielders at home. Uh, holding midfield is home against the bottom of the league. And the difficulty is that if you're not going to play Tillman today, Rangers didn't really have many offensive options. Alex Lowry is, is injured. Giannis Hadji is injured. Tom Lawrence is injured. Um, so it becomes, I guess, slightly re restrictive as to what you can do with that. But listen, there is absolutely, I think, serious um, discussions to be had about the, the domestic template. Uh, definitely in, over this international break and over at the, the website, we're going to be trying to answer some of these questions about Rangers in possession. Why are they playing as they are? Um, is it instructed that they're quite slow? I thought there was a number of moments today where you could see that maybe Barisic got the ball in particular and obviously he provided delivery. It was real quality in the, the final third. But you could see him kind of turning back and it's a bit slow and monotonous and you just think if you're just a bit more aggressive of, of, in, in possession or take more risks you can you can help yourself and Van Bronquist you know he was saying well we had x number of chances in the first few minutes and Kent had that chance Arfield had that chance where you'd expect them to go and score you or, or certainly hit the target and um, from those positions they weren't able to and that makes it perhaps a completely different conversation but over the 90 minutes yeah that, that intensity wasn't consistent I also thought off the ball and um, I don't know if anyone else at Ibrox noticed this but I thought one of the things that seemed to frustrate Van Bronquist was when Rangers lost the ball there wasn't that kind of cohesive counter pressure where 
five or six players swarmed the ball or even a couple hunted in packs and equally there wasn't didn't seem to be a the balance that drop off at points and and close the gaps. So I thought Dundee United much like um I think St Johnson is a game that sticks in my memory where it's too easy for them to kind of get up the pitch uh, at points. Um, that was noticeable to me. I'm just going to read a few more comments from the manager before uh, we call it a day here. Um, on an injury update, Tom Lawrence apparently has a good chance of coming back um, again for Hearts. Um, where he says it will be close for Hearts, but he has a good chance of coming back after international break. Kima Roof, we will have to see. The manager said he is a player who can come back really quick or take a longer time. Don't really know what that means. Uh, John Suter and Philip Lander will take longer to come back, he said. And that was kind of the top lines from the press conference. So as ever, lots to discuss. We're going to be live uh, every day this week, kind of taking questions. We'll maybe pick some different topics, um, use some um, of the stuff from, from the website and some of our morning briefings. So do head over to the website to uh, one pound for two months um, at the moment. Just reading it out below me. Um, and yeah, I, I, as I say, over the next two weeks, when the internationals are on, we will be speaking to Rangers every single day and keeping you uh, keeping your Rangers fix up even when they are not playing. So um, thanks for everyone for thanks to everyone for watching. Obviously, three points were secured. Um, so I'm sure not everyone's weekends be ruined as it as it may well be when when there's a defeat. Um, but look forward to uh, digesting it and dig and dissecting it more over the international break. Some of the questions and and trying to seek some more answers on a Rangers style of play and their success domestically. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and we will speak to you.